Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is PJP and in this video I'm gonna start doing my K-pop reactions a bit different. As you can see by the title, I'm only reacting to IU uh, songs instead of the usual four different groups with four different songs uh, that I've been doing for I think the past like two or three months. Because originally it was like this, I would do be requested a group or choose a group and I would go through each and every single music video of theirs and then move on to the next one but I decided to change it and do four different songs because I thought that would bring me more views which I'm not sure if it worked or not I don't know we'll see when I do this video and see how this is gonna do because for the last few months I've consistently been getting like at least a hundred views on my K-pop reactions which is pretty good for me but I decided to change it like this and bring it back to how it was because with me doing four different groups and I've been doing like IU, uh, Beast, BAP and VIX for a while now not all of them like I might, might change the groups which I'm rea reacting to but I don't feel like I've finished uh, reacting to a group like I don't feel like I've done anything and that is because I've, I've been still doing these four groups and I, I think that me changing it uh, like this uh, would allow me to uh, finish uh, my reactions faster and feel like I've actually done something and yeah from now on well I'm not saying that this is gonna stay for a while but we'll see depending on how the videos uh, do but for now uh, the way it's gonna change is I'm gonna be doing uh, four music video reactions uh, of different group or musician, K-pop musician in each video like for example in this video it's gonna be IU in tomorrow's video it's most likely going to be Beast in the video after that is um, most likely going to be BAP and in the fourth one it's gonna be VIX so again I'm gonna keep doing like different group reaction but at least for the videos it's gonna be only one group and hopefully you got what I said cuz my brain is not really functioning that well I'm kind of sick uh, I felt terrible yesterday which is why I didn't upload anything because I didn't record anything uh, but today I feel better but still my brain is not working at full potential so I might be just talking gibberish at some point but anyway uh, let's get into the reactions starting with I use Friday in 3 2 1 Please tell me how you can play the guitar. Hell yeah. I'm even more in love with her. Oh my god, I love her so much. I love seeing her smile. She's so cute, so adorable, and so endearing. <coughs> and yeah, as I mentioned, I am sick, so I might be coughing during this video. And her short hair is back. And I'm gonna say it right off the bat, I might not have a lot to speak, say about these songs. Because I don't want to be too harsh on them, uh, because most likely they're gonna be this kind of slow, uh, so, uh, slow ballad songs. So I, I don't think I'll really have anything much to say about them, except if the songs really genuinely surprise me. 
For this song so far, the vocals are pretty good. I mean, Ayo's vocals are always great. But I do think, and I don't think these four songs that I'm reacting to in this video are going to beat uh, her three most recent songs, which are my favorite. Uh, which I've already mentioned, like Blooming, BBI, and Last Night Story are my three top uh, IO songs. Is it bad that I feel jealous? I totally forgot that this was a uh, a duet, or at least it features another artist. Judging by the title, he's from a group called History. Never heard of it. I think I might have. As I did mention, there's nothing really that much to say about this song. To me, it's kind of like just any other IO song. And even the music video is not even that interesting. It, It's not forgettable, it, uh, and Sam applies to the song, it's not forgettable, but it's not memorable either. Because at least music video wise, this is like the third music video in which he has a relationship. So, in that regard, it's not really interesting. It opened interesting with her playing guitar, but other than that, nothing really interesting happened. At least in my opinion. And kind of the same for the song. In the beginning, I was kind of, at least, be, I was able to pay more attention, and the vocals uh, were really good, but... I don't know. It's just the fact that she has done so many songs like this one already, so it doesn't stick out from the rest. That, that kind of makes it forgettable. But still, there isn't anything bad about it, so... I don't think it, I can even nitpick anything. So I'm still gonna give it pretty high uh, ratings. Personally, at least, I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10, because... I did enjoy it, but still the song is not... Uh, it's not the best out there. And honestly, even objectively, I'm gonna kind of give it that, even though I feel like most people who are IO fans will probably love this song because, as I said, there's nothing really bad about it. But yeah, I'm gonna give it also an objective 8 out of 10 because even objectively, I'd say, uh, and yes, I'm getting having the opposite perspective of other people where I have seen her most recent songs first rather than their first, uh, their her oldest ones first, but. Still, at this point she has done several songs like this already, so this just feels like another song like that. So let's move on to the next song of this video, that being the Red Shoes. So let's get into it in 3, 2, 1. Okay, some guys making a film or something. Is he making a movie of her? Whoa. Is that her? I honestly can't even recognize her. I thought we we're, were gonna jump like to 2012 in the next video, not in this one.
Or maybe it's still like a 2014 IU, not 2012. I don't know. Why does it lack color? Uh, never mind. Is she Dorothy? Haven't heard this sound of hers in a while. I think the last song which had that might have been last night's story. This kind of more retro, I don't know exactly what kind of sound to call it, but it's retro. And music video wise at least it's more interesting. We are kind of living with speechless. I definitely didn't expect this. And it's definitely confusing the hell out of me. I mean, even I look so different, I can barely recognize her. And this is not your usual K-pop. I can tell tell you that for sure. But I'm not in love in this, uh, with the song for sure. And honestly, I cannot judge whether it's a good or a bad song because it's so... like nothing I've heard in K-pop. So, I'm not going to have an objective score for this one. Okay, so this might be the most creative, uh, at least in a sense, a music video of hers. Both musically and music video wise. Also, I just realized that this is an 8 minutes long. Oh my god. Is she being possessed by the shoes? What the hell is going on? see that in your average K-pop music video. Is this gonna be four minutes of credits or something? Okay, I'm gonna end it here even if there is more. Yeah, it seems like it's gonna be credits mainly. Okay. And yeah, as I said, I don't think I can really uh, objectively rate this song, it's just so out there. At least in my personal opinion, 
I enjoy the song and the music video for its uniqueness the most and maybe even creativeness. I don't know if I can call it exactly creative uh, in the sense of the way I use the word, but I don't know. I definitely enjoyed it. I definitely wasn't bored, but I don't know if I'm in love with it. It's just a bit too much for me to take in. Um, personally, I'm gonna give this song and the music video a 7.7 out of 10. It's this high uh, because uh, I wasn't bored at least, but it's also not this low because it's also kind of weird and not something that I necessarily enjoy or like, but yeah, that, this is just a weird song, I don't know. I'd say let's move on uh, to the next one. And the next one is I use Last Fantasy and I'm pretty sure between this song, The Red Shoes and Last Fantasy, there are like three music videos and one small short movie or something, judging by the Wikipedia page. But I'm skipping the Japanese music videos because uh, Japanese music videos are notoriously getting copyright uh, blocked on YouTube, so there's no point for me to... I mean, I could try and react to them, but it's just gonna be most likely a waste of time because the videos are most likely gonna get blocked, so I'll have to react to them, edit the video, post it, get it blocked, and then redo it again. And it's just a waste of time, so I, at this point, I'm just completely ignoring uh, K-pop groups' Japanese music videos, except comebacks. If there are comebacks, I'm gonna react to them because it's gonna be just less of a hassle. Like to give you one example, uh, most recently I think I reacted to The Boy's Tattoo and uh, posted it on YouTube but the video got blocked so I had to remove uh, removed, uh, my reaction to Tattoo because I didn't re realize it was a Japanese comeback. But I did really like that song, it's probably my favorite uh, The Boy's song. And as I was saying, uh, there are several music videos between this and that's why I think this uh, music video Last Fantasy is from 2012, meanwhile The Red Shoes was like from 2014 I think. And yeah, let's get into Last Fantasy in 3, 2, 1. Okay. Is this gonna be like a concert performance music video or something? I'm so confused. And this one seems to be like six minutes long too. Was she a classical musician? Honestly, I thought she looked younger in like blooming, but here she looks even younger. And that is because she is younger, but damn. So she is how old right now? 26? So this makes it 90? I'm really not good at guessing age, by the way.
And again, for this one, I don't think I'll be able to rate it either. But the vocals are really great so far. But it's just so far removed from most of K-pop that I'm just having trouble even thinking of criticisms for the song. Because at least for K-pop, I feel like I've listened to enough K-pop to be able to judge what works and what doesn't, even though I haven't studied music or anything like that. The music video is at least, I guess, kind of cool because it kind of shows what I guess is like her daily life or something. But overall, no gonna lie, I am a bit bored. <coughs> Sorry about that. But for other fans, this must, must be really uh, interesting. Specifically for her music side. Because musically, I've already mentioned, but uh, her most recent, the three more re most recent songs are my favorite. Other than that, I just uh, mainly like her for her personality, I guess. And I probably should wait until the next music video, but I should ask... Might as well ask right now. Is there even a point going further back? Are there even more normal music videos? Because I thought I skipped the... Uh, kind of short movie rather than a music video thing. But apparently I haven't. She is a vocal queen. This feels more like an opera kind of classical song rather than a K-pop song. And I think that's because it is. Okay. And yeah, obviously I don't really have anything to say about this one. It was decently enjoyable, but overall I don't really care about it. I don't, that's why kind of, I don't really have to say anything about it, so I'm just gonna move on to the next one. Hopefully that's gonna be a proper music video. And the song that I'm gonna be reacting to as an ending for this video is gonna be You and I by IU. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, let's get into it in 3, 2, 1. Oh my god, this is 8 mi minutes too. Are you kidding me? I should have I should have seen that before I reacted to it. I'll probably skip these. And again I'm asking. Are there proper music videos left in uh of IU's? 
because if every single one of the rest is uh, something like this, I don't know if I want to react to it. If uh, the rest are also these kind of short movies, I might watch them on my own, but I'd rather just move on to her B-sides or any songs that you uh, want me to check out. But I just do not have the time or the patience to watch like a 9 minute video. I mean this is basically a short movie. Of this I'm gonna watch like 4 minutes and if there isn't a song or whatever happens in the first like 4 minutes, that's gonna be my reaction. And I'm sorry if some of you are not satisfied with that, but I have a lot of things to do today. Or usually every day, so... It's my fault for not checking beforehand. And as much as I enjoy watching IU, Finally, the song started. I mean, these songs feel more like they're part of a musical theater, theater, I don't know how you pronounce that, theater musical, rather than K-pop songs or K-pop music videos in general. Honestly, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but it seems like Ayo's most recent songs are the ones who feel like who are the most K-pop like. Like in general, I didn't expect a lot of her music to sound like Blooming or BBI BBI, but having listened to so many of her songs and seen so many of her music videos, I'm honestly surprised how far removed from her usual music those uh, two songs are. And this is like, what the fifth the relationship music video first? It's a minor annoyance, but it is a bit of an annoyance at this point. Why the hell is she playing with a goose? <laughs> I'm so confused. Is this meant to be a time machine or something? I assume, I have no idea honestly, at this point anything can happen. And yeah, this does feel more like a song you would hear in a theater or something rather than coming from a K-pop idol. That's why I think I asked whether uh, she used to be an opera singer or something, or theater. So did I guess correctly, this is a time machine? Cool idea, I might steal it for my time travel story. Also, this might have been inspired from Doctor Who, which is cool. I'm a huge Doctor Who fan.
This probably would be super interesting to somebody who really cares about the story, and I'm sorry that I do not, but... I mean, in general, for K-pop, I am into it because of the music, first and foremost. Did he recognize her? Because I don't. I'm so confused right now. Okay, this is the credits, so I'm gonna end it here. Okay, this was definitely more interesting than Last Fantasy, and less weird, and definitely more memorable than Last Fantasy, because I genuinely forgot what Last Fantasy was. <laughs> That's how much uh, forgettable it kind of is. Oh yeah, it was about the red shoes. Still, this was definitely more interesting and had more of a plot going for it, I don't know. And because I'm a huge time travel fan, which I assume is what happened here. Uh, that's kind of interesting, but I'm not really a huge fan of these kind of short movie-ish music videos. Uh, and at least this song was more... less weird, so that's a plus too. Um, but I don't know how I can rate this or if I can even rate this. And yeah, as I said, I enjoy this more, but I just don't have much to say about this because this is really not music videos in the usual K-pop way. No, that wasn't it. Red Shoes was the Red Shoes, not in Last Fantasy. I genuinely forgot what... You know what, let's just end this video because my brain is not functioning right now. Anyway, uh, tell me whether uh, the rest of her music videos that I have not reacted to, aka the first, uh, her first like 8 I think or something like that, uh, tell me whether those music videos are like this, because if they are I probably won't react to them, might uh, watch them on my own and tell you how I feel about them, but I'm probably not gonna react to them and would rather react to B-sides of her, and I know that some of you have commented on them before, so if you don't mind commenting them again, because it's gonna be less work for me, because otherwise I would have to go through my comments and find them specifically, because I haven't written them into my reaction list. But yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, leave a like, subscribe, also check out the list in the description to my what part where I post my stories because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel I'm also a writer and also you can check out my blog in the description where I do reviews from for anything from uh, TV shows movies to anime video games and, and anything like that any type of media that you can enjoy like that uh, and if you do enjoy my reviews my stories or simply enjoy my videos you can head over to patreon where you can pledge your support uh, any amount helps and I don't know if I mentioned it in the beginning of this video or in the ending of the last one but it would be great if you decide to support me because the K-pop reaction videos specifically don't earn any money and even from for now I still cannot monetize my videos because I still don't have like 400 watch hours, uh, 4000 watch hours or whatever. Uh, but I cannot monetize them anyway, so the K-pop reaction videos don't get any money because they get copyright claimed. Um, and I don't have as much of a uh, reason to keep doing them except for my personal enjoyment, which is a good enough reason, but compared to my TV show reactions and my gaming videos, which can actually earn money because they don't get copyright claimed. I have less of an incentive to do this and I still do them. I'm not trying to guilt you into helping me out, but all I'm trying to say is if you can spare any amount, it will be greatly appreciated and it would help uh, keep my reactions going. 
But if you don't want to do that, I completely understand. I don't want to guilt you into doing it. So if you don't want to, you can still help me out by liking this video, subscribing, and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And, and I think that's pretty much it for this video. So hopefully, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.